This is John Prasinos, Editorial Director of Investing Daily, coming to you with a video alert for Monday, April 13. Well, the jobs data continues to be abysmal, to say the least. 17 million Americans in the span of three weeks have lost their jobs. Those are the worst statistics we've seen since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Corporate profits are projected to be abysmal as well. This week, we're going to start seeing corporate report cards rolling in. The big banks will be kicking off uh, Q1 earnings reports. The numbers are not expected to be good, and they will give us a clue as to what we can expect in the, the second quarter and the rest of the year, what kind of business conditions lay ahead. Um, it's not going to be pretty. And yet, and yet, the stock market has rallied. What gives? <laughs> How can we explain the disconnect? Uh, do investors know something? Uh, does Wall Street know something that we don't? Well, I think what's happening is that Wall Street is cheered, rightfully so, by the massive fiscal and monetary stimulus that we've seen. Uh, the Congress passed the $2.2 trillion CARE Act, which puts uh, money into the hands of consumers. And without consumers, we don't have an economy, as I'm sure you probably know. Uh, about 70% of gross domestic product in the United States is made up of consumer spending. The, the bill also helps uh, small, medium-sized, and large companies. Uh, and a lot of companies are obviously hurting right now as wide swaths of the economy are, are, are being shut down. Uh, and we're seeing uh, in stark relief just how bad the debt bomb is. Uh, now, companies who are already indebted are having a lot of trouble making their interest payments. That's especially true in the uh, beaten down uh, energy patch. Oil prices have just cratered. Uh, we'll see if uh, Russia and Saudi Arabia uh, can make a, a production cut that holds so they can shore up the price of oil. But stocks have rallied, uh, even though unemployment figures are frightening. And uh, you know, since its March 23rd low, the S&P 500 has rallied 25%. Um, but uh, I hate to be the skunk at the garden party here, but I think the further sell-offs are ahead. Uh, don't succumb to what Alan Greenspan described as uh, irrational exuberance. Um, I think we're witnessing uh, what's called a dead cat bounce. So that's a Wall Street uh, lingo for... Uh, uh, a, a, a sort of a head fake. Um, it, it derives from the, from the notion that even if dropped from a great height, even a dead, a dead cat will bounce. Uh, some historical context is called for. Since the long history, uh, uh, since uh, the Dow was formed in the 19th century, during its entire long history, there have been 38 rallies of similar length uh, and, and breadth and speed of the rally we've seen since March 23rd. You know when they all occurred? They all occurred during the Great Depression, and they all fizzled out. And if you were to ask an investor in 1939, hey, are you happy with the stock market right now? The answer would have been a decided no. So um, don't be dazzled by the rally. I think, uh, I think the stock market will retest its COVID lows in the weeks to come. That doesn't mean you have to sit on your hands. You have to wash them because of the pandemic, but you don't have to sit on them. Um, I've written about this before. And I've spoken about this before, but I think really great plays now are the technology companies that are making possible mobile technologies, virtual private networks, the cloud, um, all the technologies people are reading, really leaning on right now, the technology that's making it possible for me to talk to you uh, uh, from this electronic newsletter. Um, I just know from my own experience, uh, the only way I can see my grandchildren is by having Skype video calls with them. Well, consumers are getting more and more used to these technologies, which really uh, positions the technology companies that provide them, really uh, positions them for growth. So you can systematically, incrementally start investing in, the, in technology companies uh, that are uh, in the vanguard of these mobile technologies. And expediting all of this is the global rollout of 5G, fifth generation uh, wireless technology. 4G made possible the smartphone revolution um, the, all sorts of mobile technologies that we take for granted. 5G, 5G is exponentially greater. It's ultra fast, uh, super fast bandwidth and, and download speeds that will leave 4G in the dust. And that will facilitate the adoption of the Internet of Things, which is uh, the Internet of Things is one of the greatest uh, innovations, uh, one of the greatest technological megatrends uh, in a generation. Uh, so companies involved in 5G technology are the way to go right now. I can't think of a, a more resilient post-COVID megatrend for you to start jumping on now while stocks are still relatively cheap. 
Don't try to bottom, don't try to uh, test the bottom of a bear market. That's foolhardy. Uh, but uh, I think that you can find some bargains that you can uh, prudently invest in using stop loss orders. Uh, for our latest uh, opportunities in 5G, uh, look at the bottom of the copy at the bottom of this video and click the URL for our 5G report. In the meantime, uh, stay safe, protect yourself and your family. Uh, Wash your hands a lot, but you don't have to wash your hands of the stock market. Uh, take care. This is John Prasinos, Investing Daily.